This is a bioreactor, a vessel in which you have cells growing that express your molecule inside the cell. It's a controlled chamber. Inside, it's glass. It has a little marine impeller that stirs cells gently. We just still don't know why cells have to move. If they don't move, they die. Yeah, in suspension. In the very bottom, there's a ring that's almost circular that has pinholes that dispenses the oxygen, so it really is like a fish tank. This is the side the engineers can identify with. The size of the internal chamber, what kind of unit needs how much oxygen, for what level, and how slowly or quickly this is. And then the biologists, microbiologists, biochemists, they understand the genetic side and the cloning and the cells and all that. Outside, there's another jacket that you can hook a hose up to that will circulate water around the jacket to help in, ensure the temperature stays the same. Oh, when cells divide, they get very hot. They, they put off a lot of energy. So you have to make sure they don't get too hot. Then all of this has probes that can hook up to this computer unit that will record pH, temperature, speed of the road, oxygen level, nutrient level, the whole bit. Because you have to do that. If FDA is letting you grow a, molecule, a, a cell with a molecule expressed in it that's eventually gonna be injected in people, they have to know from beginning to end what went on. And it's gotta be computer tracked. It can't be people. Oh, don't worry, it didn't go out of pH. It's like, yeah, right. <laughs> we have a way to control that and check it. So the students are in this classroom for every step. Growing, harvest, purification. And they're in light gowning, not even head covers. So it gets them used to the lab setting, the science, the equipment, everything at once coming in one course. Then they will shift to the next ones that I show you. It is awesome. It's so much fun.